Hi everyone, today I want to show you how I plugged in a blockchain into a website created in Webflow. You are looking at a very simple dApp built on top of near blockchain and connected to frontend built in Webflow. Let's start with the demo and then I'll show you what I did and how. So here you can see the contents of the message that is stored on blockchain. But before I show you how it works, let's sign in with near wallet. So this part of the app is actually ecosystem of near. Uh, that's not what I built. Uh, it's just connecting my wallet. Let me just do that. Uh, I approve connecting to the website. Now that we are connected, we can also interact with the smart contract using this input field. So as you can see, it says, hello, YouTube, and we can check it on the near blockchain. Let me just do it here. Uh, so we can check it should be this one here. You see, it says, hello, YouTube. Let me go back to the smart contract and go back here. Let's put something else. It works. We have to sign a message with uh, with our private keys. And now it's changed to it works. And when we go back to the Explorer, let me refresh it. You see called method set greeting. And if we go into it, it says it works. So this is how it works. We can also sign out. And everyone who will visit this without signing in will see the message. Actually, any one of you, if you're going to connect using this link, you can change the message as well. Uh, so how did I do it? The first thing I, I actually uh, deployed a smart contract uh, on a near blockchain, but you don't have to do it. You can use just as well the one that I have created. I mean, some existing one. Uh, to do that, I went to near docs and I just created a hello near first on testnet. Then I had to convert it to mainnet to mainnet. Uh, and the next thing I did was I actually created a design in Webflow. And here you will see a few elements. Let me just show it to you. Uh, like for example, this one signed inflow. So this is what you see when you are signed in and signed outflow, which is what you can see when you are signed out. Uh, as you can see, some of the parts of this are not yet connected to the blockchain. So it, it doesn't display what you have seen on the app itself. Uh, but here I had to. So let's let's take an example of signed inflow. You see for ID, I used signed inflow. And this is not by accident. Also, when you look at the span, for example, uh, account ID, it has some custom attributes like data behavior equals account ID. So this is something I have taken uh, from uh, near documentation. And you will see that when you are building the app also with the front end, you will have stuff like, you know, sign in buttons, sign out buttons. So these are the classes you would you will have to use uh, here sign out button, for example, or here sign in button. Uh, yeah, so this is what I did as well. Also adding some, you know, custom attributes here and there. What I did then is I have exported the code and uh, added the smart contract address in the code and change it to mainnet because by default, it's uh, set to testnet. Um, so I would have to sign the transaction and sign in with a testnet account. Uh, last but not least, when I had it set, then I just um, hosted it on Netlify. I mean, just because it was simple for me. And I think that's it. Just wanted to let you guys know that I did it. And if you want some further instructions, oh, maybe one last thing, the custom code obviously is here and it's just like a one file that that has all the you know methods and all that that is being used in here and all the IDs and all that. If you want to get to know more, 
or maybe you'd like to you know you'd like me to uh, record a video more extensive on how you can do it as well just let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll drop a link to this dab so you can test it out yourself uh, uh, in the description uh, yeah thank you